It has been incredible to watch what Eric Carlson is doing this season. Currently leading all D-men with 84 points, he's hit a new career high on a horrible San Jose Sharks team. Despite this, Eric Carlson is on pace to be the first 100-point defenseman in over three decades. Carlson could become the third defenseman in NHL history to score more than 103 points, which has only been done by Bobby Orr and Paul Coffey. The best part is that Eric Carlson isn't just getting easy power play points, as Eric Carlson is tied for first in the league with only Connor McDavid for even strength points. While Carlson's defensive impact has always been a controversial topic, his advanced stats are actually pretty good for being on a horrible team. Carlson ranks first in defensive zone carryouts, loose puck recoveries, and stretch passes among defensemen. While Carlson might not be the best at shutting down the other team's offensive players, he is the best defenseman in the league at turning defense into offense. Carlson does his best defending by helping the Sharks move the puck up the ice and spend time attacking the game instead of it being in their own end. To give you an idea of how dominant Carlson is at this, 65% of the Sharks' offense this season has come when Carlson is on the ice. It's concerning to think about how bad this Sharks team would be without Eric Carlson. If Carlson does hit 100 points, it would be hard not to have him winning the Norris, but it does spark the debate of exactly what the trophy is all about. Some fans argue that it's basically a trophy for the best offensive defenseman, but last year Roman Yossi finished 10 points ahead of Kale McCarr, and McCarr ended up winning the Norris. This year that gap is even bigger as Carlson has 17 more points than the closest defenseman, but with the Sharks being a bottom 5 team in the NHL, it could hurt his chances. But honestly, in my opinion, the fact that Carlson is having this good of a season on such a bad team makes me think that it's even more impressive what he's doing and he's all the more deserving to win the trophy. Either way, I'm happy to see Carlson having this season at age 32. It's crazy to think that he's having a better offensive season than any of his prior Norris seasons in Ottawa. And to me, he's looked far more confident this year with the puck. And more importantly, he's been extremely healthy. So let me know who you think should win the Norris this year. And if you think the NHL should have two defensive awards, one for the best offensive defenseman and one for the best overall defenseman, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see a more in-depth breakdown of what Carlson has changed in his game to help him return to form, I'll leave the breakdown video that we did a couple months ago for you to check out. As always, if you like this video and want to see more just like it, click on any of the links right here.